times did you rewatch the Thunder Ridge cutback? It's been everywhere. It makes first in the top ten, didn't it? I think so. It makes first in the top ten. It's been, it's been everywhere. But I told y'all like y'all ain't seen nothing yet, and that just shows like, you know who Buddy is and his athleticism, and uh, he has so much untapped potential that you know he hasn't tapped into yet. And when he does, man, the sky's the limit for him. What do you like about the freshmen so far? I love all of them. Um, more off the court than I do on, just because of the type of people they are. Um, the way they carry themselves, and they're so eager to learn, so eager to get better. And um, you guys know how I feel about Day Day. And um, just seeing them grow on a day-to-day -day basis. I remember being in those shoes when I was that age, and um, everything is at your feet. And so um, this, the learning curve of it, and uh, I was not at this level that they are. I wasn't as talented as they are coming into college. And just, just seeing, being able to see how much they're growing and learning, it's also teaching me a lot. Uh, just the fight he has, and I don't mean that literally. Uh, <clears throat> the 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 fight he has in him on a day to day basis, um, his will to win, and um, you know he's like I say he's so eager to learn and he just wants to be so good. His work ethic is like is is like I've never seen out of a freshman, um, and he reminds me so much of myself when I was that age. And you know I'm just so proud of him and who he's become and you know who he's been trying to become, and uh, he'll tell you about it too. And so his attitude towards the game and towards life is just beautiful. Is there a specific aspect of your shooting that you might be working on here in the last 10 days or so? Um, I have to get back to squaring my body up and, and following through. I've went back and watched a lot of film of my shooting in the last couple couple weeks that we've played, and every time I've missed has been because of me. Um, I haven't really think I've, – I've looked and I've thought that, you know, defenders of what they're doing are making me miss, whatever the case may be. And uh, it's been me, uh, my shooting. All of it has been me, my mechanics. And I just have to get back to the bases. I know what I'm doing wrong. And um, Coach Tang even pointed it out to me these last couple of days. And, um, you know, I've just been back to the basic of what I've been doing to get me to this point. And so um, that's going to be corrected. I'm not worried about my shooting. Um, you know, that comes and goes as a shooter. You're going to have good nights. You're going to have bad nights. And uh, at the end of the day, I don't remember my last miss. Adjusted to this offense after in Texas the last few years. Uh, yeah, um, I still have so much to learn, um, and that, you know that's the biggest thing for me right now is I'm learning how to play a completely different way. I'm learning how to be a true point guard now. Um, as we all know, Marquise Noel, what he did, um, he set the standard of what it was to be to be a point guard here. And uh, not that I'm trying to be him, but you know I came from a situation where the ball was putting my hands to score a whole lot in here have so many weapons. I don't have to do that as much now. I have to really learn how to be a point guard. And it's it's new to me. And um, I'm learning so much, so fast. And uh, I'm just, I'm open to it. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with taking a step back from scoring or taking a step back from, you know, doing whatever I did at North Texas to learn how to be a point guard. Because at the end of the day, it's not what I'm doing now, but what, I, what can I do in March? And so if I can learn how to be a point guard and hit passes and hit the rollers now, it's going to make me so much dangerous and make this team so much dangerous on down the road. Is that going to, in the long run, also create more scoring opportunities for yourself? Absolutely. When I get become more dangerous passing the ball, um, it's going to make me more of a threat offensively my whole game. And so that's why I'm, I'm totally okay with, you know, taking a step back when it comes to scoring right now. Um, not that I'm not being aggressive and looking for my shot, but, you know, looking to, you know, get my teammates open first, to get them shots first, and just making certain reads and taking more chances when it comes to passing the ball um, that I never took before. And uh, it's, a learn, uh, it's a learning curve. It was hard at first, but I'm starting to embrace it so much more because I know what it's going to open up for me. And uh, I'm just glad to be able to have a coach that, you know, who understands it, that um, what he's trying to get me to do. And uh, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. You mentioned maybe the, the poor fundamentals or whatever on some of those shots. What do you attribute that to? Is it defense pressuring too much or something like that? Just me, um, rushing myself. Um, I've seen so many different defenders over my the course of my college career. And uh, it's just me. I have to settle down. And uh, like you said, some of it is this offense of I'm faster pace and 
Uh, guys are flying at me a little bit. Guys are a little bit taller at this level, a little bit longer at this level. And so uh, it's just at the end of the day, it's me. I, I know what's coming. And um, I just got to settle myself down. And when I do, like I said, get back to the mechanics and the basics, I'll be just fine. RJ, here's a guy that averages 5.8 in 14 minutes. And for some reason to me, it just seems kind of like he does it a little bit quietly. But uh, he's made an impact on this team, hasn't he? Yes, for sure. Um, anytime you can get a freshman to come off the bench and give you six points in, in 14 minutes, you have a plus. And um, he stretches the floor so well, and he's becoming a better defender every day. And uh, when he just, like I say, he's just a freshman. So when he puts it all together, you know, he's going to be so much better. And, uh, but he's given us such a huge boost right now with those six points and those valuable minutes for somebody like Cam that has to come out of the game for however long, somebody like me that has to come out. Um, he's just being whatever he can, whatever he's adding to us in the stat sheet and the box score and the little things that may not show up, just boxing guys out, um, being a great teammate while he's out on the floor. Um, it's just an added bonus to our team. What do you think of David now that you got him and spent some time around him? I love him. He's so versatile, so many different ways. Um, only thing that we need David to do is just be more aggressive on the offensive end. Um, I think we sometimes we believe in him in his offensive game more than he believes in himself. But he works so hard, so I don't understand why he doesn't. Um, he's the first in the gym sometimes every morning. Uh, a lot of times last to leave, whether that's just shooting free throws or getting extra shots up. Um, so it's not due to his work. Um, but when he does, and we've seen it. You've seen the last game when, when he just makes up his mind, nobody stay in front of me, you see what he can do on the rim. So whenever we get that David, every day, all the time, not every day, but all the time during the game, because uh, he does bring that every day, um, you know, look out. What have you liked so much, so, so much about your case and experience so far? Here? I've loved it. Um, what they've said about the fans is 1,000% true. Um, even in this preseason, I know we haven't sold out any games or anything yet, but just like the other day, we're on break and, you know, our fans are there still packed in. And so um, I've been so blessed to be in this position that I am. Uh, with these type of fans and this type of community who, who backs every program. It's not just one-sided on basketball, football, volleyball. It's everybody's bought into every sport here. And uh, not everybody is like that from what I've seen um, at different programs. And so just to be in a situation like this, I'm extremely blessed to be here. Ken, what do you, what do you think you guys are at defensively right now? Um, you know, we still need some improvement. Uh, but I feel like, you know, we, we locking in on defense now. We're going to be a defensive threat as a team. We were talking earlier about the uh, true freshmen. What do you like best about them? Uh they all they all so confident and uh, they all they they follow, you know, the leaders and they they all work hard and they they gonna get it done. If I could go through them really quick, uh, what do you like best about Day Day? What does he do well? Day Day he he a soldier. Like he like today, he turned his ankle and practiced a little bit, and he just got right back. You know, he stepped to the side a little bit, got his ankle taped, and hopped right back in practice. Like, he's just so tough. Uh, RJ, uh, he, you know, he's so confident. Like, yesterday, he had a great practice. Like, once he got going, he had one shot, and it was over with. Like, I was talking a little trash to him, you know, roughing him up a little bit, and he responded well. Um, and Buddy, he just, he just tough. Like, he, he a monster. He, Buddy just Buddy. <laughs> I had to yeah. What do you remember about his dunk that made Sports Center? Uh, I didn't even see that he made Sports Center, but uh, I, w I expected it to, you know, so when he did it. But it was, that was crazy. Like, he just literally came out of nowhere. That's what the comments said on uh, K State basketball page. But yeah, he really came out of nowhere. But that's just some typical buddy stuff. Like, he's super athletic. You feel like you've kind of embraced the role of Coach Tanks as he wants you to be more, more assertive as a scorer. Do you mm -hmm. kind of like that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I I like it, but you know, a lot come with it. Uh, you know, I gotta stay consistent, and you know, being in the gym, and you know, I have to be a two-way player too. I can't forget about defense. What do you like best about this team after six games? 
Um, I just like that we all we all love each other, and uh, you know we might not show it at times, but we all have each other back, and you know we love we have a, we we really love each other. Yeah. What do you feel like has been the biggest challenge so far? Hmm. Biggest challenge. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know yet. I mean. Yeah, I think the best, the biggest challenge yet to come. The uh, new offense really seems to be doing well, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, it's a lot of, you know, we have a lot of space in now. Uh, you know, it's pretty much a five out, and the spacing is, is lovely. <laughs> what do you enjoy most about it? Uh, our offense? Yeah. Uh, that, you know, at any moment, if, you know, if, if the defense break down, something is open. Because, you know, we have a lot of movement going on, and, you know, somebody's going to be open if we, you know, just got to make the right plays. What's, what's the addition of uh, TP meant to you? Uh, he just makes everything easier for, for everybody. I mean, he he's such a threat, you know, shooting the ball, just an offensive threat. And, you know, you can, their best player, you know, is probably going to guard TP because if he gets going, you know, it's, it's over with. And, you know, it gives, you know, the rest of us, you know, some a little freedom, a little more freedom. Has it been a tough part about adjusting to the five out? Nah. Uh, you know, at first it was for me because, you know, I was used to our last year's offense. And, uh, you know, I had to become, you know, a better reader, uh, you know, just reading things and not just feeling for them, but, you know, understanding, you know, uh, just certain movements, why I do this and why I do that, you know, certain cuts, things like that, yeah. Who's the fastest player on the team with the ball, ball <laughs> dribbling? I think it's me. <laughs> well, tell me about you and Tyler maybe uh, working toward those leadership roles. How, how was the process like that taking place? Uh, you know, me being a returner, uh, I had to, you know, show, you know, show, show the newer guys, you know, what K-State's about first and then uh you know I feel like a point guard you know should be the guy you know to lead the team because you know he has the biggest responsibility. And now have you seen maybe T P uh assume that responsibility? Uh I think you know when you know when he was getting recruited here, I'm pretty sure you know the coaches, you know, had to tell him like, you know, you filling in some big shoes, you know, after Marquise leaving and things like that. So I you know I know he understood the task, you know. He, yeah. he said that that's probably the biggest adjustment for him is that he's being asked to be more of a true point guard now. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like like he's embraced that? Yeah, I think he, uh, you know, he he's doing it pretty well. You know, I know he's embraced he he embraced it already. Uh, you know, there's certain shots that I'm pretty sure that he would take last year that he's not taking this year. Uh, you know, I know he's still adjusting to it, but I know he embraced it for sure. Final question about the freshman. What kind of collective potential does this freshman group have? I think honestly, like in the future, all three of the freshmen that we have, they gonna all be NBA players, and that's and I truly believe that. Going back to the uh, Buddy Rich dunk, you, you, you and uh, TP said earlier in a press conference that we hadn't seen anything yet. Yeah. That was before the the putback. Where does that putback <laughs> rank and what you've seen so far out of him? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say top five. Top five. Yeah, it's probably five. Five. Yeah, five? it's probably five. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah.